اللهم يا قاصم الجبابرة وكاسر الأكاسرة اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعض أحب في الله أحثانك الله عز وجل فوقيم بذيس أبوتونيتي أجن تريمايند يو الله رب العزة سيد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم was a mercy to us human beings and محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم showed us a way and he says if we follow that way we will be guided one of the ways is the reading adhkar morning and evening if you neglect this you are in trouble because this adhkar morning and evening is a shield for this dunya and akhirah there are some adhkar there you read when you die you are going to jannah direct when you read them adhkars morning or evening So the importance of the adhkar, Shaykh al-Islam says, is stronger than the wall of ya juju wa ma'ajuju, the adhkar. This is very, very important. The reason I started with adhkar because a story comes to mind of a Somali brother who works in a Dodash, the delivery food company. He works in a restaurant which they deliver food. That brother, it was his shift that night in the restaurant they got an order and the order was to deliver to deliver in certain certain area in certain uh, one of the houses he waited for the food to be packed and everything took the food delivered it he reached in the door when he reached in the door somebody called him over the phone and he told him move back from the door and go towards the balcony so he went to the balcony and he reached the balcony And he saw a black cat there. And he started having conversation with the individual and asking, where are you? And the individual is saying, I'm there. Can you not see me? He started asking, where are you? And the individual says, I'm there. Can you not see me? He said, where? Are you this cat? The person says, yes. The Somali brother, he started feeling weird instantly, straight away. He started feeling heavy and started feeling... Absolutely weird sensation. And straight away, he remembered, he started reading Falaq al-Nas. And that started to have an effect on that cat there. Because it was the cat, black cat, shaitan, was over the, on the phone to him. And he started, the cat started rolling up, down, up, down, up, down, while he's reading all of the bit of the falaq, all the bit of the nas, and his situation started easing the heaviness and everything. And straight away, another thought come to his mind, and he started doing adhan. He did the adhan, he did the adhan, until the cat started screaming and saying, you're killing me. But in fact, it was not a cat. It was a shaitan, black cat. Shaykh al-Islam says they come as a shaitan. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith, Put your children in, inside during the times where it's closer to towards the Maghrib. Maghrib. And after one hour, take them out. You can leave them out. Because this time is the time where the shaitan spread and caused your facade. Night, dark, has something to do with the devils. They are so much attracted to the dark. You will find some of the symptoms of of the people who are possessed staying in the dark closing lies staying in the dark this is one of the strength of the shaitan dark and that was a black cat so the brother keeps on making adhan keeps on making adhan and that the black cat was a shaitan crying and crying until it vanished and the brother alhamdulillah felt very very much better he left It was a victory for him and victory for us as well because he killed one of the shaitan. He went to his work. He left with his food and back to work. And he goes to the masjid and narrate this story to the imam of the masjid. Shaitan takes the shape of a black cat. Shaitan takes the shape of a black dog. Shaitan takes the shape of a cat. So many different, different cats. And Allah knows best. 
This is a story of a, a delivery brother narrates this story. It's a story where one should not take it lightly. It's a reminder one should hold tight to the Adhkar's morning and evening. Now imagine someone else was there who is not upon the Quran and Sunnah, who does not pray Salah. What will he do? They will start screaming and crying and living death and possessed and being overtaken by the shaitan. Story over a black cat, Abu Yahya, from the Ruqya talk, وَآخُرُ دَعْوَانَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ